morning. It's such a beautiful day here in Charleston. Um, my senses are like in overdrive this morning. I wish I could bring you guys here and just have you see and smell what I'm smelling. But there's a ton of surface activity going on right now behind me. I'm really, really pumped about just getting in the water. Um, I don't even want to shoot this video right now because I just want to hurry up and get the kayak in the water and just get fishing. Oysters are popping and there's fish already hitting the surface. There's trout right over here that are just smashing. So, and I got some redfish over here that are already on the shoreline. I've got all kinds of stuff going off right now and the storm's rolling in so I've only got like a couple hours to fish. This is the day that you want to be on the water. I'm so blessed that I'm actually going to be here today fishing it. So, I'm excited to bring you guys along and let's get on some fish. Guys, I was so excited to get out here. I totally forgot my fins. <laughs> oh no. Let's pull these rods down under the dock. <laughs> so you know you're ridiculously excited to get on the water when you push off the dock without pedals or a paddle. <laughs> Ooh. There's a fish. A little trap. All right. Did it take long? Ooh. Didn't mean for that to happen. Ouch. All right, they are hungry today. Hey okay, guys, I see some redfish down here um, where these birds are. First of all, birds are great indicators of activity. And you can see some blow ups right here. I'm gonna use this dock to kind of anchor myself and I'm gonna cast right up there. I'm tempted to use my spook just to get a cool surface blow up. Should I do that? First cast with the spook, see if we can get a cool explosion. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff going on here. All right. So right off that grass point, there's oysters all around. Side cast right here. Right off that point. I'm not walking straight, there we go. I'm on. Whew, he's off. Some trout are aggressive right now, right there. Right before this storm. Going crazy. There we go. Now I'm on. Oh yeah. That's a good one. It's a nice trout. I might lose it, but I don't really want to use the net with these treble hooks for a moment. I got him. Alright. What do y'all think? Explosive morning. <laughs> I love this before these storms. Yes. Well, it's back, but uh, a 16, 17 inch fish. Yeah, when they're this amped up. And I'm this amped up. Right back here. That good area. And I'm on. <clears throat> Another good fish. <laughs> Oh yeah, awesome, Woo. look at him, boat flip, I always wet my hand on these trout, it's a, what, right at 16, I'm gonna cast right up there again. Do some pauses. Am I on or did it just pull it under? It just messed it up a little bit. <laughs> turned, turned that bait sideways here. I'm gonna cast a little bit deeper. There it is, right off that point. See if we can get a, oh, that's a redfish. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. This bait caster might be a little too Jack said a little too light, I'm gonna tighten it down. Oh shit, that's a big fish. Oh, he's gonna pull me in the docks. 
Uh, reverse. Oh. Oh no. Uh. God, I love it on the freaking. Oh no. I still got them on, okay. I gotta pull them out in this open water, guys. I pull them out of open water. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Ooh. Turn around on this kayak so y'all can see. Ooh. Sorry for all the grunts. <laughs> I just get excited. Ooh. That's a big one. Yeah, we're at the, that spook on the side of the mouth. Perfect. There's probably some fish there. I want to try and get away from there so I can catch another one if I need to. All right. I'm going to net this fish. Right. Boom. That's how we do it. In Charleston. Yes. Just phenomenal, explosive morning. Guys, this is what I'm using for my inshore, inshore bait cast setup. This is a Shimano Cronark 151 HG. And then this is the St. Croix Avid X, the seven foot four heavy. But it's been a pretty lethal combo, combo for me. Oof. Top water. Top water trout right behind me. Let's see if he's interested in this. Got a hit. There he is. Yep. Get fish for these things. I don't know if you can know exactly what the bait fish jumping around sounds like and exactly what, say, a trout sounds like when it hits the surface. There's a red fish just blew up on the surface. I'm gonna cast over there. Right. You guys see that right there? Cruised out of there too. Just hit right there on the surface, then it cruised out of there. Good example of what it sounds like, what it looks like, and then what it looks like when they wake on the surface. Here's an example of a place that looks very different. Just there being, just there being grass that uh, goes into the water at the lower tide. It's the one of the last places that grass is in the water and it's going to be the first place that grass is in the water and on an incoming tide. So it's definitely a place to cast, dude. Please check out. These redfish are going to be drawn to it. There's also the small creek right there to the right of it. It's got a bunch of really good things. There's some activity there already. Oh no! Oh, I had a fish and it just... What happened? Ah. Oh shallow look at that wake that redfish wake a redfish this is why i love red fishing it's hunting unbelievable see all the red see all the all those shrimp popping around okay super ominous background all right no dice there he's he's right there you see the you see the uh the tail again right right there Hopefully I didn't just spook it. And keep my rod tip up so I don't line that fish. Belly crawling on those oysters. Look, there's another red fish back there in the background. Look, it's it's feeding on those. It's, I'm just being crazy careful not to stomp on the hole of my deck. Because these fish are super sensitive right now, this low tide. Look, there's another one just came in. Came into that side. Look, it's right here. I'm trying to cast in front of it. I just got hit. Come up. Oh, shit. You guys see it just pulled it down. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. That was a trout. All right. I don't normally do it, but I'm gonna get some shrimp. I'm gonna put them on the jig head. 
and let me get to work. Everything out here eating these live shrimp. Because as you saw, that's what's in the water. Around the horn, when I say the horn, there's a horn and the spike underneath that raised part on its head. Kind of a skin hook. Keeps it alive for longer. Look fish. Look at that thing. Complete baby. Complete baby. Got two little tails on it. Mm. There's a redfish right back there, guys. Right back past where I just cast this thing. It just it is. It's waking. Waking to the right. I think it's under it. Come on. I'm not sure if that tire exchange was just missed or not, but just caught a topwater trout. Here, there's a ton of redfish over here on the bank. Uh, but I just cut this trout right out here in more open water, on top water. I'm gonna throw the spook out here, see if another one will, they're usually in big groups. Oh, yep, there's another blow up. Obviously a school of trout right there. Holy crap, right there. I'm gonna go over there and try and catch that redfish. I can play with these trout all day. Those redfish over there are hitting the surface, guys. And as you saw before, those are fun to catch on top water. But they're between this dock and the next dock. I'm just seeing them blow up here on the surface. There's, uh, I think, three or four redfish right here, guys. There, right there, guys. He gave himself away. Come on. Walking it right over where he was. Does he want it or not? Come on. Does he want it or not? All right. I'm going to put some live shrimp out and see if I can't catch these redfish. Live shrimp on this jig head. Oh, big swirls, guys. I don't know if I scared one or if it's just feeding hard. Oh, there's a fish, guys. Oh, my jack's tight, too. All right, I gotta go after it. Oh, that's a quick fish. Guys, it's gonna cut me off. It's gonna cut me off on that dock. It's gonna cut me off. I gotta tighten my jack. I just scared, like, six reds behind me here. <laughs> At least I got one of them. All right, I think I'm free in the clear. I think we are in the clear. All right, yeah. That's what they look like when they wake towards you. The little sharks. This is just... Man. <laughs> Good thing I'm right between these docks here. This one doesn't want to play. All right. Come on in now, dude. Got him hooked perfectly right in the mouth. Uh, well, maybe I'll get a better picture with this one. <sighs> Seven. I'm uh probably should start calling it but I did get in the fish um I appreciate you watching as always like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video oh man I grabbed it but I just dunked my nice reel don't want to be dehydrated but 
I'm also very cheap. Just can't believe I just dunked that rod. Oh, well. 